céu. Vi. Vi. Muito bem, Daniel. Acertou todas. On estime qu'environ 160 millions de personnes dans les pays en développement souffrent de déficience auditive. Godissa est une organisation non gouvernementale du Botswana qui travaille à rendre accessible à une majorité de ses populations une technologie auditive adaptée aux pays du Sud. Behind the project is, I'm part of the team, there are nine of us. I don't know if you met Howard when he came, he's Canadian, he's a volunteer who came to work with us. And uh, he, he, he came in to give us the sales and marketing focus that typically any NGO in the South doesn't really focus on, doesn't have. We're very good with social responsibility, we know what should be done to help the people on grassroots level. But we also needed to look at the trends in NGOs today. Donors don't want to see NGOs that are constantly relying on a grant. And we, need, we needed an activity that would sustain us to bring back some income to the, to the project so that it can sustain itself. It's not just the hearing aid we make, but we've also got the new solar charger technology, which we have developed and are also manufacturing. It's a very simple technology really, but it harnesses the sun's energy, right. stores it up, and then charges the hearing aid battery or the hearing aid. Godissa est appuyée par l'UMC depuis des années. Elle pourrait être une entreprise privée à but lucratif, au même titre que Philips ou Sony. Mais la justice sociale est au cœur de sa mission. Elle s'est donnée comme objectif d'offrir des possibilités de travail et d'éducation aux malentendants en étant une entreprise d'intégration sociale ouverte sur le monde. Inside our own company, we are sending three of our technicians for further training and international certification in hearing aids technology in Canada. We've empowered many deaf people. I think they take pride in their work because they are people who make what they use, the mm. hearing aid. To them it's not a job, to them it's life, you know, it's much more, it's an emotional thing to them just because they're making hearing aids so that they can help other people. And these guys, are, they are being trained here so that they can go all over the world and teach other deaf people so that they can be self-empowered, so that they can start something on their own. In, in the process of opening Hodisa centers in the world, like, okay, Brazil, Uh, the main thrust were, well, was to promote what we're doing, but at the forum initially, because we were invited to go to the forum. But then we've already met with Angelina and the team here. We thought, okay, this is a perfect time. Let me also see them and see how far they're doing, you know, and if there's anything else that I'll need to do to help them. Or if you do it in the middle where they look at each other. Are you excited, Angelina? Yes! <laughs> Oh, I can see everybody here working and yeah. uh, everybody in the north is in the yeah. other no, this is using our hearing aids. Uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs>